Welcome to the November Patch Notes video. In this update, we have drastically improved the way players can create their own custom games. Not only did we overhaul the functionality of custom lobbies, but we also improved the menus used to change the settings. Instead of clicking through maps and game modes one at a time, you can now select them from a list. Many of the game modes here have subcategories. As you can see, the deathmatch category includes all kinds of deathmatch variants. Other modes have presets too, like King of the Hill, where you can select the standard mode, Super King of the Hill, and Ranked. Ranked presets are also available for Team Deathmatch, Domination, and Takedown. You'll find that there are a lot more game mode presets to choose from. Moving over to the Settings tab, you'll find that the settings have been divided into four categories. Map Options, Mode Options, Team Options, and Player Options. You'll now find a new button next to most of the available settings. Simply put, selecting this button will allow you to assign different traits and settings to each team. Under Team Options, you can give each team a custom name that will show up on the in-game scoreboard. Under Weapon Options, you can now disable weapon drops. The weapon drops option determines whether or not players drop their weapon when they get killed. These new features open up a vast amount of customizability with room for more creativity than ever before. Lastly, there's the File Options button on the bottom left of the Options box. This feature allows you to save your custom game mode as a preset which can be loaded later. After giving your custom mode a name and saving it, you will find it under the category it was made under, in this case, Deathmatch. When selecting one of your custom presets and clicking File Options, it gives you the option to save as, save, rename, and delete the preset. Everyone at 1047 Games is very excited about the potential that asymmetric game modes and new settings bring to the table. We can't wait to see what the community comes up with. We'll see you in the arena.